Smile and learn. Hello, hello. How are you feeling today? Scared? Sad? Or maybe happy? I'm a little angry today. But that's okay. I'm sure I'll feel different tomorrow. But what are all these words I'm talking about? That's right. They are emotions. Learning to understand and express them will be very, very useful for you. Our emotions are the responses that our bodies create in reaction to what is happening around us. There are many different types of emotions, but they are all equally important because they help us to express and understand what's going on inside of us and the people around us. Emotions have a limited duration. That is, they don't last very long. This means that if at a given moment we are feeling a certain way, for example, if we are angry, it doesn't mean that we will always feel angry. That is why we say that emotions are short-lived and can change. Now that we've had a brief review of what emotions are, let's take a closer look at one of the basic emotions. Anger. Can you explain what anger is? This emotion is also called rage when it is very intense. It gives us an unpleasant feeling of disgust. An example of this is when we do not get something we want. Anger is a negative emotion that can cause you to feel mad and frustrated. This is why it is so important that we learn to detect and manage it. Imagine you are in the park playing and you see this happen. What does it make you feel? Angry? Exactly! Hmm. When we see unfair situations or something does not go the way we want, it is normal to feel angry or really mad. We can also experience anger when we feel disappointed or rejected. When we want to keep doing something but our parents tell us it's bedtime. When we have to tidy up but we want to keep playing. Or when someone turns off the TV while we are watching. Have these things ever happened to you? I get really angry when they happen to me. But I take a few deep breaths and then it goes away. We can express anger in many different ways. For example, through a tantrum, crying, or yelling. Negative emotions are just as necessary as positive ones. And that is why it is very important to learn to listen to them and express them. They allow us to understand how we feel, so we can communicate that to the people around us. They are also essential to understand how others feel. We all like it when other people understand and listen to us, right? See you next time! We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time. <laughs>